Hi, my name is Hikmet Ersek. In behalf of Western Union, I would like to welcome all to our third Western Union Textile Accelerator Demo Day. Welcome, everyone. Uh, it's our third, uh, third year, and I'm very excited that all of you are joining, some virtual, some in person, and I'm very excited about your energy. You have been chosen from hundreds of different of ideas from entrepreneurs, and you made it. And we are very proud that uh, we have you in the program. So far with Techstar, we have the fantastic partnership. Uh, it's our third year. We at Western Union really count on young people's entrepreneurship, young ideas. This Western Union Techstar Accelerator will be great, and I'm very excited. Thank you very much. Hello. Hello. Hola. Mabuhay. Aloha. Hello from San Francisco, California. Hello from Bogota, Colombia. Hello from Virginia. From Manila, Philippines. From Lima, Peru. From Kiev, Ukraine. From the Big Island of Hawaii. Hello from Atlanta, Georgia. Hello from Dallas, Texas. Hola desde Monterrey, Mexico. Hello from Washington, D.C. in the United States. Our partnership is incredibly significant because Techstars has a give first mentality in helping entrepreneurs and Western Union joined us because it was a mentor driven program and really wanted to help support our founders. Techstars Western Union provided an opportunity around fintech and around global startups. This particular cohort or class, it's just a tremendous group of diverse founders. You couldn't ask for more creativity and more power to impact the world. The humility, the hard work, the passion that these founders have for what they're doing has selfishly taught me so much and teaches me so much every day. I think what makes us so special is how diverse our classes, people from all over the world, from all different kinds of backgrounds. Diversity was a given when we got in, but I think that as you get to meet the rest of the team, everybody in this cohort is passionate about changing people's lives for good. There's just something to say about all of us coming from underrepresented backgrounds, solving a problem that we all truly deeply care about. I have just been amazed by the rest of the group. It is such a bunch of creative, motivated people. It's really inspiring. Based on my interactions with everybody, is the genuine uh, willingness to learn. Having everyone learn together. The best part of the program that so far has been meeting the extraordinary people. These are all fintech companies that are super passionate about what they're doing. Being able to connect with so many mentors and also other companies in our cohort. For me, the most valuable part of the Techstars program for the mentorship is really amazing, honestly. I mean, to be able to, within seven or eight weeks, to meet the high caliber of people that we've met and connect with this many high caliber folks. And then the partnership with Western Union, an opportunity for a startup of our size to have the exposure and the interaction with an organization that's significantly larger. It has been like beyond compared to anything we've, we've been you know, exposed to before. So. The mentors, the quality, everything about it has just it's been awesome. Welcome to the Tech Stars in Western Union 2021 Demo Day. I'm El Bruno, the Managing Director, and embarrassingly enough, you all now know me as a Managing Director that can't help but cry when I talk about this group of amazing founders. 
On behalf of myself and our excellent program team, Joseph, Callie, and Jen, we'd like to thank you for joining us today. Our companies this year focus on moving money in different ways, from creating wealth opportunity in the peer-to-peer -peer payment space to payroll lending in Colombia. Super apps, infrastructure, currency exchange marketplaces are just some of the categories you will learn about today. And if you're interested in meeting our founders, feel free to reach out to them with the email addresses they will provide soon or go directly to gemoday.techstars.com. We will post this contact info in the YouTube chat throughout the program as well. As many of you know, fintech has become the hottest vertical over the last few years. In Q2 alone this year, $30.8 billion was, was raised in venture capital money, and we saw 19 exits, all in fintech, and again, all in one quarter. These are record-breaking numbers, and it is clear the time is now to be in fintech. We can't wait for you to meet our founders who are making a mark in this bursting space. But before we do that, there's a few people and organizations we'd like to acknowledge. For those of you who are new to Techstars and Demo Day, welcome. Our mantra here at Techstars is to give first to our founders. We support founders by providing them with networks, mentors, and building blocks. And as you can see in these numbers, it's safe to say this accelerator model, it's working. I'd also like to take a moment to thank our global network partners, many of them listed here. Their support and generosity is genuinely appreciated. To our incredible program team, first, Callie and Jen, thank you for your hard work and your dedication to the program. You did the jobs of five associates with smiles on your faces the entire time. And to Joseph, our senior program manager, thank you for leading the program team and thank you for supporting the founders day in and day out. Your commitment to them is truly unparalleled. To Chinadu and Jennifer, our EIRs, we are grateful for the valuable expertise you shared and our founders have come to trust you both immensely. And mentors, including everyone who have participated in mentor office hours, as well as those who ran numerous workshops and joined screening committee. Wow, you are what makes the world go round. Thank you. And to Tyler and Greg, you are incredible partners at Western Union. Thank you for your commitment to the success of these companies in this program. We are thrilled about the partnerships being built out this year, and it happened because of your leadership. And to the Western Union mentors specifically, you rock. And now for the main event, the 2021 class has spent the first 11 weeks of this program virtually building, selling, and fundraising. Each day they'd start their Techstars day anywhere from 4 a.m in Honolulu to 10 p.m. in Manila. And as you saw in the video, they hail from many cultures, ages, demographics, and backgrounds. During the course of the program, they've raised capital, won lots of awards, including the Black Ambition Prize, the ENY Entrepreneur of the Year Award, and the Google Black Founders Fund grant. Some are actually already building partnerships with Western Union, as I mentioned earlier, and some have seen hyper growth through other unique partnerships. But most importantly, what I wanna point out is that these are all incredible human beings. So without further ado, and with much excitement, I'd like to introduce you to the Techstars and Western Union class of 2021. I'm Melissa Pankos, founder and CEO of The Beans. Before The Beans, I co-founded Comet Labs, a venture capital fund that invests in artificial intelligence companies. Before that, I was a researcher at the University of Oxford. Let's start at the beginning. The human brain did not adapt to store and process numbers. We're not naturally good at math, which means ultimately we're at a disadvantage when it comes to dealing with our finances. But there's hope. The essence of the evolved human brain is pattern processing. This is a superpower that venture capitalists share with the rest of us. Pattern processing powers visual financial planning, which I developed as a researcher at the University of Oxford. This financial relief model has been rolled out to 300 million people worldwide and is the first method proven to reduce financial stress. The Beans is the very first to bring this validated method to market for consumer financial wellness. And it works. Subscribers to our foundation program on average saved $2,800, paid off $5,700 in debt, and have significantly less financial stress. Here's how it works. We connect to your accounts, analyze the trends in your earning and spending, and tell you the right next step to take. 
and offer to do it for you. For example, people with plans are 10 times more likely to reach their financial goals. Would you like us to make you a personalized financial plan? And having savings enables stronger financial decision making. Each month, you can save $450. Would you like us to open and automate a high-yield savings account for you? All the while, we're using scientifically proven strategies to get and keep you on the path to financial success. What this adds up to is a radically different experience. Hey, it has to be fun. All of this is powered by our proprietary data models. We built our own models after building financial plans by hand for a thousand teachers. We've trained them with over 8 million transactions. They're 50% more accurate than the aggregators and our network effects are protected by two patents pending. We're built for the middle class, which by 2030 will be five and a half billion people strong and have a total spending power of $65 trillion. Our go-to-market is a caring class. These 40 million teachers, nonprofit, government, and healthcare employees are the fastest growing segment in the US economy. They're overlooked by the financial system and they're united in their identity of choosing professions that prioritize mission over money. Our unfair advantage is our distribution strategy. We grow by partnering with the organizations that employ or support these professions. In the last 90 days, we've closed eight new partnerships, including two pilots from Western Union. Together, these reach a million people and are worth $10 million in year one revenue. We have incredible team market fit and understand the problem personally. Our founding team are all former educators turned entrepreneurs. Combined, we have over 40 years of experience in startups, behavior change, artificial intelligence, UX design, and data. What we've built transcends the financial wellness space. We built a first-to-market product that's proven to work, and we'd love to have you with us on the journey. Hi, my name is Kevin. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Swipe Credit. We help banks, credit unions, and other financial organizations move money, make money, and scale impact. My parents immigrated to the U.S. in the late 1980s. We started out with no money, no credit identity. My father worked at McDonald's and my mother worked as a hotel housekeeper to pay their way through college in Boston. They were invisible to the financial system and only had access to high interest rate products designed to keep us invisible and trapped in poverty. Being invisible is like having a scarlet letter branded across your chest, a brand that's placed on too many innocent people in this country punishing them for sins they have not committed. This label is placed on over 45 million Americans and 4 million underserved small businesses. There is a systemic inequality that prevents these folks from getting access to the loans they need to thrive in this country. This label and the pain it inflicts on those who wear it exacts a far greater hidden toll against our own country. The financial industry experiences $640 billion a year and lost credit opportunities due to this pain. Your financial background should not determine your ability to achieve success in this life. So we built Swipe Credit to right these wrongs and drive wealth creation for financial companies and the communities that they serve in a way where everyone wins. Our solution helps clients manage credit risk, increase funded loans with real-time and adaptive threat protection, keeping them highly secure through the process. We work with banks, credit unions, and other organizations to help grow their revenue and social impact on autopilot, which helps consumers and SMBs build and unlock credit. Our platform has the ability to potentially unlock $13 trillion in business revenue for SMBs and create over 6 million jobs in the next 10 to 20 years. We make money in three ways, monthly software subscription, interchange fees, and API calls. We know this problem is a big one because we already have five paying clients that are credit unions with hundreds of people that have installed the application. We decided to go to market with credit unions because in the US there are 5,000 credit unions that service 50 million people and it gives us a very, very efficient customer acquisition model that's B to B to C and a serviceable adjustable market of about $1.3 billion. Here's a quick view of our mobile application. It's simple, secure, highly indispensable. Our team has around 40 plus years of enterprise software and sales experience at companies like Apple, IBM, and Sun Microsystems. In the next five years, we will reach $150 million in annualized recurring revenue, onboard 2,800 companies, but most importantly, create positive impact in the lives of 11 million people. Our mission at Swipe Credit is to build a bridge that provides financial access and inclusion for everyone. Swipe Credit. 
one platform, zero barriers, and endless growth. Thank you. Hi, I'm Chris Duffus, founder and CEO of PhoneBank. Do you know what billions of people have in common that uniquely identifies them, their mobile phone, and their money? A SIM card. Using the blockchain, we take that SIM and turn any mobile phone into your personal bank. We do that because there's a balance stored on the SIM, which is the same everywhere. And we can make that balance exchangeable into any currency in the world. Phone bank rides on top of the most ubiquitous financial network that no one knows about. The 8 billion existing SIM cards used by every mobile phone on the planet today. As you might surmise, there are many countries where you cannot find a bank, ATM, or have easy access to a debit card. Phone bank makes that problem irrelevant by turning everyone's mobile phone into their personal bank. We've created the first DeFi app that uniquely converts a user's prepaid mobile credits into money over the top of banks and mobile carriers. The model is simple, a currency exchange using prepaid airtime as the currency. We match individuals and businesses who make money trading discount mobile airtime with people who want to access to digital money. Take our user Mohammed in Nigeria, who wants to top up his virtual game account with a US based company, but they don't accept his local debit card. He simply opens the phone bank marketplace and enters the amount of prepaid airtime expressed in terms of the local currency he wants to trade. Then swaps for phone bank tokens, which are backed by crypto dollars. Muhammad can now convert these tokens into a dollar based virtual debit card and complete the purchase of his game credits. Phone bank is a super app that makes many more use cases possible. So Muhammad can not only pay for his virtual game credits, but also buy a cup of coffee, pay for an Uber ride, shop online, top up his phone, make a few dollars on the side and even invest in crypto. With phone bank, we unlock his potential to be part of the global digital economy. We've had tremendous traction since our beginning in 2020, achieving over 2 million in GMV, over 60,000 transactions and nearly 50,000 new wallets added. And as of October 2021, at our current pace, we're on track to grow transactions by nearly 500% from the prior year period. Again, I'm Chris Stuffus, founder and CEO of PhoneBank and sold my last company to SoFi. And my co-founders, Sergey and Sam, are experienced full stack engineers with backgrounds in financial and blockchain technology. Finally, do you have the courage to join us on our mission to unlock the potential for billions globally? PhoneBank addresses the myriad of issues plaguing emerging market consumers by turning their mobile phones into personal banks. Thank you. Latin is one of the most unique and underbanked regions in the world, as there are many historical reasons for this lack of opportunity. For example, 80% of employees on payroll live paycheck to paycheck and they are virtually invisible to traditional financial institutions. Hi, I'm Diego Rodriguez, the CEO and co-founder of Lindsay, a fintech company based in Colombia. We are a team with a deep understanding of the payroll loan market with over 40 years of combined experience in the field. I have managed a $500 million payroll loan portfolio and led a team with more than 1,000 employees. We have built a service from the ground up with my co-founders offering a tangible solution for Latin employees. Lince have created a unique platform to make employees visible and take control over their salaries. But how does this work? First, we use our integrated payroll system to run their credit score and approve the employees. Second, we disburse the money to the employee. Third, we reconcile the loan installments automatically deducted it from their paycheck. Four, we receive the monthly loan payment directly from the employer. With this unique and low risk model, we plan to become the financial super app for employees in Latin, provide them a one-stop shop with easy access to an ecosystem of financial solutions, offering salary advances, microloans, insurance, savings, and even payments. And also, we have created a simple and smooth UX web app. 
Today, we have agreements with 45 employers that started using Lindsay as their partner to improve the well-being of more than 200,000 employees. We have achieved consumer conversions about 20% for microloans in less than three months, but there is still room for growth. Our customers love Lindsay, and through organic growth, we now have an NPS of 90. Our customers' testimonials prove the social impact that we can accomplish by improving their financial well-being. We know this because 40% of our customers say that they use Lindsay to pay predatory debts. Our CAC is 30% less compared to other lenders' models in the market. We have six payroll providers' partnerships that will give us access to more than 4 million employees in Colombia alone. And our revenue is growing 25% month over month. Without a doubt, this is a huge opportunity. We can reach a 170 million in revenue with only 10% of Colombia market. And we plan to move into Mexico, Peru, Chile, and Central America. If you are interested in being part of the solution to bring light and visibility to black time workers, let's talk and help us to transform their quality of life. Packworks is a business super app for the micro corner store. It's so super, we're in 135,000 of these stores today and we do 150 million in GMV. These corner stores in Southeast Asia are at the heart of every village. They sell everything you need for your home. Not only that, they're both the hub and the pub, and they're probably best friends with your mom too. Hi, I'm Bing. I've spent the last 20 years running a team of developers providing technology for enterprise. My co-founder and I are riding buddies, and we've traveled all over the world on our motorcycles. In every ride, we'd stop and rest at these small corner stores. They're ubiquitous and are in every village corner in emerging markets globally. In these stores, we have met some of the nicest people. While the shops provided comfort, speaking to the owners about their problems remained consistent. Not enough time with family and a lack of sales. What started out as a genuine desire to improve the lives of people has turned into a billion dollar opportunity with massive multinational companies knocking on our doors. There are 8 million shops in Southeast Asia that have the same story. And last year they sold 100 billion worth of goods. Our beachhead market in the Philippines, there is one in three transactions that still pass through these corner stores called Sari Sari stores. Solving the problem of efficiency is equally important as leveling them up as business owners. One more thing, we've also learned that somebody else needed to level up their game. The CPG companies sell about 300 billion in Southeast Asia and they don't have data to what's happening to 100 billion of their goods which is holding them back in growing their business. Let me tell you what we did. We created a mobile app that was made just for these micro entrepreneurs. Then we built a POS and ordering platform that we sold into the mega Sari stores in partnership with the CPGs. Now we're helping them increase their transactions through efficiency. While that is happening, we're providing incredible transaction data to the big brands so that they can better learn how to serve their customers and, of course, sell more. These are some of the things that our mom are saying today. They've taken control of their lives and businesses. In the last 24 months, we went from zero to 135,000 stores and we've processed an annual GMV of 150 million. We're on the way to growing into 220,000 stores in 12 months, and we will be processing close to 300 million worth of transactions. So my biker co-founder is known for his work in digital literacy and impact technology, while my other co-founder, Hubert, has spent 20 years in supply chain management and distribution for these Sari Sari stores. Together, we built Packworks. We have found a way to support micro entrepreneurs, and we are building the fastest growing supply chain network platform in the region. Join our pack. Send us an email at founders at packworks.io. Well, I would like to start with a personal story. My father was living in Turkey. I was living in Europe. And as I made, start to make money, my first thing was how I can support my father who retired in Turkey by sending money. If I can send money to my father easily, if I have that purpose because I'm sending also love to him, he will have a better life. 
That was one of the main reasons why I joined Western Union. And I said, if I have that issue, millions of people around the world have the same issue. The biggest advantage is that we always build bridges, we always connect people, businesses, and that we have done for 170 years. So the telegraph was invented by a man named Samuel Morse, and in 1844, Samuel Morse sent the first telegram from Washington, D.C. to Baltimore, Maryland. The telegraph was the only means of rapid communication. Right around 1850, two men who knew each other, Judge Samuel Selden and Hiram Sibley, got together and started talking about this idea thinking, well, what if we could take all these one-off telegraph companies and connect them into a network? What if we could, we could be the network, the spark that brings together all these technologies? Western Union really was founded on, on the promise or on a vision of connecting people. Behind every transaction, there's a personal history. It goes back to 170 years. Is it that sending a telegram to a loved one? Today, we are connecting millions of people worldwide with cloud applications. The company has innovated uh, throughout its long history. Um, you know, we've had our ups and downs as, as an organization, but we've always kept the customer at the heart of everything that we do. You know, and the purpose we've defined, you know, is moving money for better, but I think more broadly, our purpose is really helping connect people. And if you talk to our customers, which we do, they're pretty clear that, you know, it may be money that's moving, but it's much more than that. It's, you know, they're, they're sending support, they're sending love, they're helping educate someone, they're helping with medical, they're, there's a range of things that our customers are using. We are connecting people and enabling money flows all over the globe for people and businesses to be connected. You know, today about one and a half billion people are globally financially excluded, meaning they only have limited access or no access at all to financial tools. Often Western Union service is the first step in being financially included. We, we know that our customers have a greater need than just moving money from point A to point B. We want to develop a broader financial uh, relationship with our consumers. Uh, it's not just about the last 170 years, it's about the next 170 years and what is the legacy that we all leave behind. We played this really important role using our network and innovating new products that made sense at the time using the connections that we had. And that's that's what we're doing today and that's where we're going. That's that's still the, the model into the future. West Union has a value of connecting people where do, regardless where do you come from. And that connection is special. And I'm humbled to be a part of this special story. Hi guys, my name is Hans and I'm a co-founder and the CEO at Nuffi. And I want you to imagine today that you're building the next fintech unicorn. You're trying to create something really amazing. Well, to create anything amazing in fintech, you need technology, but you also need to be regulatory compliant as well. If you're in the US, there is a lot of fintech infrastructure that you can use. You have Pled for open banking, Synapse to open accounts, Marketa to issue cards. But what happens if you are in Latin America. Okay, well, you're gonna quickly realize that the infrastructure you need is not there just yet. You will need to build your technology from scratch and check it for compliance. Simple solutions will take you from eight to 12 months in development. In Latin America, building financial products takes time, money, and a lot of sweat and tears. It is still really, really difficult. And this is exactly the problem that Nufi wants to solve. At Nufi, we provide you with modular building blocks, fintech Legos, if you will. <laughs> and you can quickly connect these Legos to create your own fintech solution. We take care of all of the technical and regulatory complexities so that you can just focus on bringing your idea into reality. 
we have more than 30 blocks ready to use through our developer-friendly API. Blocks like KYC processes, you know your customer processes, that are compliant with the requirements of the Mexican regulator. We have the strongest background check in the region using more than 40 data points. We have data enrichment. We have biometric verifications. We have a lot of cool stuff. We make money every time that one of our customers successfully calls our APIs. And we typically charge 15 cents on the dollar per call. You only pay for what you use. There are no hidden fees. We are completely transparent. Latin America is going through a fintech boom. And there are more than 50,000 financial institutions and fintechs right now. So there's a huge market for creating the new infrastructure for financial products. And at our founding team, we have the right blend of technology and banking. I myself am an electronic systems engineer. I have a master's in innovation. I've been creating and directing companies for the past 16 years. I've exited two of them. This is actually my fifth startup. Ilich Nunez, my other co-founder, is a lawyer with more than 10 years of experience in public and private banking sectors in areas related to regulatory compliance and strategy. Nufi is currently being used by four large financial institutions and over 15 startups. And our technology has been approved for use in filings with the Mexican regulator. So do you want to build a fintech unicorn in Latin America? Make your fintech innovation dreams come true. Use Nufi. Thank you. This is America. Employers are hungry for new employees and they're desperate to retain the good talent they have. Better wages are working, but are commoditized in a crowded labor market. Employers are turning to financial well-being to differentiate themselves. According to the EBRI Financial Wellbeing Symposium, employers are specifically prioritizing emergency funds and savings. They're starting to understand that nine in 10 working adults want emergency savings as a benefit. All of this because nearly half of us in America lack the savings to overcome just a $250 unexpected expense. Imagine going in for a car inspection and ending up with a bill that derails your life. Hi, I'm Sid Pila. I'm the founder and CEO of Sunny Day Fund. We make saving for emergencies and other immediate financial goals easy, accessible, and rewarding on behalf of employers. It starts out with us launching a customized messaging campaign to employees about their awesome new benefit. And then on the employer end, we set up payroll and tax elements in a matter of clicks, including post-tax deductions, all with no ERISA compliance to worry about. When employees enroll, they receive a brand new FDIC insured savings account with no penalties or minimums. Uniquely, these are not custodial accounts and completely portable. Finally, we automate employee contributions and employer rewards through our patent pending technology. Those rewards are customizable and powerful and work like a subsidized interest rate. Most employers reward 20% and up to $400 per year. That's almost 300 times the national average savings interest rate. We leverage this unique model to reinforce savings intent, keeping people true to their savings goals. Our early data shows high voluntary enrollment, more than five times that of other voluntary benefits. Folks earning $15 to $22 an hour are putting in roughly $50 per biweekly paycheck, well over $1,000 per year after tax. Armed with this impact, we're thrilled to have over 18,000 employees in plan for the 2022 benefit cycle, including a Fortune 250 company, all generated through direct outreach. As adoption grows, the word is getting out, as you can see here in the Wall Street Journal, generating new organic partnership opportunities through benefit consultants, record keepers, and other channels. We are a mission delusional team with expertise across behavioral finance, benefits, and tech. And we all carry with us our money experiences, forging stress into passion. And that mission is to bring financial well-being to all 152 million American workers. We're excited to announce the closing of our seed round as a small step forward. We invite you to partner with us, employers, employees, and investors. Reach out to us to learn more. And everyone, remember to advance emergency savings policy to broaden financial inclusion and equity. Thank you so much and have a sunny day. 
I'm here because in Latin America, it is too expensive for microfinance institutions to get low risk clients, especially those unbanked looking for the right capital to grow as engines of our economies. Hi everyone, my name is Julio. I'm the CEO and founder at Meeple CEO. And I'm here to tell you how Meeple CEO has figured out a way to acquire lots of customers for financial institutions at a low cost, changing the way informal and cash-based businesses access financial services. Let's go. This is a picture I took at an informal market in Guatemala February last year, as a credit agent took over an hour just to take a customer through the underwriting processes. Yes, microfinance is not sustainable because their manual processes represent on average 50% of the operational costs. They could be inaccurate, and once they acquire those customers, only 37% of them stay after they pay off their loans, leaving financial institutions missing out on customer opportunities. That is why we build Meeple CEO, the best AI-powered financial advisor that embeds to the financial institution's digital banking experiences to reduce acquisition costs and increase retention. Once users input their data or even integrate their bank accounts, they start a hyper-personalized financial journey with the best of a budgeting tool for their personal and business finances. They build financial capacity through a gamified reward-based experience that adds to an alternative credit score that is built on more than 700 data points to finally tell them in the most transparent way which are the financial services that are available for them. Think of us as the credit karma for the unbanked and underbanked in Latin America. What get us more excited is what we're seeing with the end consumer. Only in the last 12 months, we've onboarded 120,000 users. 70% of them achieve a type of financial goal. More than half uh, saved to pay debt. And 13% took a financial service they didn't have access before. And on our client side, financial institutions, well, we've increased retention rates from 37 to 53%. For a mid-sized financial institution, this represents up to 100,000 extra loans disimbursed at one third of the cost. And let me tell you that we're on track to hit our $1.5 million in sales with new contracts, with our revenue models based on monthly and success fees. Working with leading institutions such as Mi Banco or Via Varejo, the second biggest retailer in Brazil, who just invested in us. And this is only the beginning. Only by taking 5% of the market, we could 10x this number in the next three years. A market with millions of micro and small business owners where only 25% take formal credits. And yes, we have the right team to fulfill this dream. Me, ex World Bank, with years developing technologies for underserved communities at MIT D Lab. Pedro, who contributed to the tech milestones to raise $50 million for a marketing startup in Brazil. And Cesar, with more than 35 years in the microfinance industry in LATAM. We're on track to realizing our vision and hope you join us in our journey to be the partner for financial institutions serving the unbanked and underbanked in Latin America. Thank you. Hi, my name is Dennis Kell, co-founder and CEO here at Zertu, where we are reinventing lending, borrowing, and bill payments. We all need a financial lifeline from time to time. Every day, millions of Americans get a bill in the mail that they simply cannot afford to pay. In fact, according to estimates from the Federal Reserve Bank, Americans lend and borrow over $200 billion a year with each other. Americans also pay over $30 billion in fees to predatory and payday lenders. Yet, 82% of Americans say that they're willing to help a family member financially. With a mission to drive financial inclusion one relationship at a time, Zertu is the world's first relationship-based lending application to formalize and simplify loans between friends and family while automating the repayment process and giving those borrowers the option to pay their creditors direct using those borrowed funds. Zertu has a simple, safe, and secure solution. In this example, Tom is borrowing $100 from his friend Jane to pay his past due AT&T bill. Jane receives that loan request. Once she approves it, instead of Zertu sending those funds to Tom, Zertu sends that money directly to AT&T minus our 5% success fee. These are just a few of the enterprise partners we're working with today who are looking to create a better customer experience while leveraging Zertu as an alternative payment solution to chip away at bad debt 
and aging accounts receivables. We have an awesome and amazing team. Over 60 plus combined years of experience with proven entrepreneurship. This is not my first rodeo and myself and my co-founder, Michael C., have proven experience in building high performing teams and exit ready companies. We're proud of the team that we've built. We've raised $4 million in seed capital from notable investors like Techstars and Western Union, Morgan Stanley, Google, as well as Revolution. We've acquired over 100,000 registered users on the platform. In fact, the average active user on Zertu invites two new users to the platform that they can lend or borrow money with. This baked in organic network effect has a lot to do with Zertu's growth as well as our enterprise partnerships. So what's next for Zertu? And how do we get there together? We're looking to land and expand with our enterprise partners, especially in those high synergy sectors like utilities and healthcare. We're also looking for proven capital partners that are looking to help Zertu prove that friends and family are the biggest bank in the world and also drive financial inclusion one relationship at a time. My name is Dennis Kale, CEO, co-founder at Zertu. Thank you. The current peer-to-peer -peer payments landscape consists of over 74 million users and creates transaction value of over 150 billion per year. Overall, this is a $400 billion market we're talking about. What if I told you none of these people are able to attain any sort of monetary value from any of these transactions when using current platforms? In fact, they're actually losing money over time due to inflation, and many of these platforms are profiting off the user's balances, whereas Stacks puts the profit back into the user's pocket. At Stacks, we're building a better and profitable payment system, which makes investing in your future as easy as receiving payment from your friends, for everyday transactions. We believe that friends paying friends in fractional share stocks can be the path for unlocking the gamification behavior that we're seeing in the stock market, but instead with the healthy financial decisions that we believe can benefit generations. Our users are able to get paid back by turning their $10 of coffee into Starbucks stock instantly. We're changing the way consumers access the stock market to allow the everyday person to build long-term wealth in a way they couldn't before. But wait, there's more. Here's our secret sauce. We're always adding value to our users from offering 5% interest on cash balances to a Stacks card that gives you cash back in the form of shares for everyday spending. This is Julie. She works in sales and marketing in New York City. She goes out often with her friends and coworkers to dinners and happy hours. She currently uses P2P apps such as Venmo, and by the end of the week, she always has a large balance in her account from reimbursements, sometimes in upwards of $500. And that's just sitting in her account and adding zero value to her, whereas she could be building long-term wealth without even thinking about it. What if we told you we could change this for Julie and millions of people worldwide? Well, yes, we are. To help me solve this problem, I've got a strong team with me. With our backgrounds in finance and tech, we've gained the crucial experience needed to build this. And paired with our passion for financial inclusion, we are determined to solve this problem. Please sign up for our waitlist or reach out to me directly as we'd love to have you join us on our mission as we reimagine the future of payments. Thank you. All right, folks, that's a wrap. Thank you so much for joining us today and sharing your time with us. And just a friendly reminder that if you would like to get in contact with our founders, you can reach out to them via demoday.techstars.com or email them directly in the email addresses provided during the presentation. Thank you.